Hi everyone, Rifle back here again with the DCS World CAS Execution Checklist. In the last video, we were able to do the talk on, and now that the JTAC is comfortable, the pilot knows where the target's at, the A-10 at this moment is going to perform the attack of the uh, 12 steps. We separated a little bit, and now I'm going to uh, come back in, commit, with an east to west attack. We're going to rifle off two AGM-65 Deltas onto the target and in the remarks and restrictions the JTAC would have given me of the 9 line a final attack heading and uh, for this example we're gonna say it's 240 and 280 I have to put my nose in that cone I'm now wings level on the heading tape I think it says uh, about 265 and so hog 63 is in 265 and the JTAC at this point would give me the clearance cleared hot. A rifle away and uh, picking off number two now. And let's uh, do that again just because we can and it looks amazing. Every time. And this is what I wanted to cover here is the big one about this execution. The final attack heading, I'm flying 265. So I'm within 240 and 280. And the reason this is important is you'll see the target in red. And to the south, one or two kilometers is a uh, blue position that's the friendlies. We don't want the weapon system to fly over the friendlies. And the west side of the X that you draw onto the target here with these uh, fancy lightsabers that I've been able to concoct is the fragmentation of the weapon explosion or debris is going to flow away uh, from the friendly positions as well. So this is quite important and uh, just something that you have to consider. But the X always on the target and then you're able to figure out what your final attack heading can be. The bigger the better for the pilot and sometimes you can't do anything about it, get small. In the meantime, these guys are just hanging out. And I've been busy following the JTAC's direction. That direction is just to egress north uh, and then back to wherever the IP or the wheel. Uh, however, he's getting some early warning or sorry, the uh, electronic warfare chatter. And uh, so now he's requesting two GBU-54s, all right, on the two buildings immediately northeast of the two tanks. It's like a headquarters. So we're going to do a re-attack, same uh, restrictions, clearance on final with heading. Hog 63 in 265. Get the cleared hot. That's two away. Hogs off to the north. And uh, in the meantime, J Dizzles do what J Dizzles do. Happy day. And now, like a lot of trainings uh, like this, scenarios can be the same, or uh, real life rather. So that uh, headquarters element, shack, and immediate reattack is uh, now being requested. We're gonna go guns. A lot of the heavy ordnance is now off. Same restrictions. However, on this one, we're gonna be allowed to do reciprocals. So from the east to the west, and we may be able to come in west to east uh, if we need another one. So human bodies, really resilient things for a few moments sometimes after a couple JDAMs come your way. Immediately south of the buildings, we're looking for guns. Let's pop some flares, focus coming down the chute. I totally forgot. Uh, of course, once your wings level, nose pointed down, that's your hog requesting the clearance, right? In with heading. 
And now this is the reciprocal. So we were given a 240 to 280. Everyone knows we're looking at the same target. Hog is now in from the west. Wings level, gets the cleared high. And that's it from there. We're gonna get the BDA. So uh, battle damage assessment, two by MBT's KIA, along with uh, headquarters elements from uh, two GBU 54s and uh, two uh, gun runs, which mopped up about half a dozen insurgents. Hope all this stuff is working out for a lot of you guys. Uh, I can't get enough of uh, time to get some of these videos done but I know it's helping a lot of peeps out I really appreciate it and uh, from there kill everything with everything simultaneously cheers